spoke to the QAnon shaman, uh, shaman Jacob Chansley's attorney, Albert Watkins, for this story. Here's what he had to say. Watkins, the Q shaman Jacob Chansley, said that his client had Asperger's syndrome and indicated that Chansley's mental state and the impact of Trump's propaganda efforts would play a role in his case. A lot of these defendants, and I'm going to use this colloquial term, perhaps disrespectfully, but they're all fucking short bus people. These are people with brain damage. They're fucking not going to use that word. And they're on the goddamn spectrum. But they're our brothers, our sisters, our neighbors, our co-workers. They're part of our country. These aren't bad people. They don't have prior criminal history. Fuck, they were subjected to four plus years of goddamn propaganda, the likes of which the world has not seen since fucking Hitler. Wow. Wow. So he's saying that because they were mentally unstable people, they easily fell for Trump's rhetoric. So the fall should go on Trump, even though he was already acquitted, and not to the followers of, of this fight, of this insurrection, because these are, that's what, wow. Wow. It's funny because I don't know where, maybe I'll link it somewhere at the end of this video, but I could have sworn I told people that this was a possibility as well once trump got off that they were all gonna say well blame him for it fuck man that's so ugly that's it's literally it's literally almost even anti-vax like propaganda inside that answer see they're on the spectrum so of course they're gonna fall for it the people who are healthy didn't fall for it so give the people a break. So what? They broke into the U.S. Capitol and tried to threaten to kill people. And because of their actions, people died. Who cares? They were just hurt. They were just, they were, they were having issues. They were having problems and we should feel better. We should, we, we should treat them better. They're our neighbors and they don't deserve harassment. They made a mistake. So let's be clear on something. He speaks a lot. He speaks for a lot of people. He isn't unhinged. He is wrong and dangerously so. ASD is not linked to violence. R is dangerous language. This is ableist, hateful garbage. This guy's an anomaly. Yep. It's, it's, yeah, I was going to, yeah, it's eugenics, eugenics, it's eugenics. Why is it eugenics? You can't take down Trump. You can't take down any of the GOP members. So people who follow and do acts of violence in your name, i.e., you know, terrorism, just say they're all unstable and... Maybe we should just get rid of the unstable people in our country and it would be a lot easier. See where I'm going? Now, if you say that I skip a bunch of steps, no, because the U.S. has already had at its forefront a massive movement for, for housing the mentally ill, how we treat mental health in this country. It's not a big leap to say, well, why don't we just get rid of them? And which side is proposing that? The side that followed Trump. Crazy, right? Crazy. So, if you think it's a good idea to follow Trump, pay attention to the QAnon shaman guy. He's going he's gonna to be the landmark for how we treat the rest of y'all. He's going to be the landmark. Because they're jailing people and trying to convict them, and they're all going to come up with that same defense. I, I, Donald Trump gave me the energy to be able to, to, to live and to have a free thought and to feel like I was a patriot in this country. I refuse. I refuse to let the Democrats take that away from me. I had a soul. I felt strong. I felt brave. I felt like I was following the words of a man who I truly could trust and gave my heart and energy and soul to. Got you, bitch.